Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a la Speed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we have a suggestion from Ed Shields. ¿Te suena? Shields. Sí, me suena Ed Shields. Hola Ed. Hola Ed. Ed, in reply to the video that we did on se me hizo, vale. yeah, he has a question about the se me and which verbs you can attach that to. Okay, so we're going to tell you all about it on the other side. Entonces, nos vemos en la segunda parte. So, by the way, this is um, an early intermediate uh, video, so we'll be doing this in English. Okay. So, Ed is saying, se me. ¿Se puede usar esta estructura con otros verbos? Yeah. And the answer is yes. So, I think what's important for us to do is, is to look at the way that uh, it's used. And then to look at how, how is it? How do you know that you can add se me to a verb? How? It's important. So let's have a look at a few, few examples. For example, se me rompió. Yes. So we have what you call the, the, the victim structure. And we're going to see that a lot with the se me. Se me. Exactly. Se me. Exactly. Uh -huh. se me rompió, se me olvidó, se me pasó. Se me, se me fue de la me mente. Fue de la mente. Eh, se me cayó. Se me cayó, sí. Okay. Se me cayeron. Sí. sí. So this is what we call the victim structure. The victim structure is this. Something is happening around you, to you, that is, is not, you're not in control of. Okay, that's, that's it. You, yes. you are the kind of the victim of the action. Yes. Something is happening. So when we say... Se me rompió el plato. What you're saying is the plate broke, right? Take me out of this. Se rompió el plato. The plate broke, yeah? Sí, como got broken, could you say? The plate Did got you broken. Say with with the, the, yeah, the, the, the plate got broken, yeah? When you add yourself into it, se me rompió el plato, what you're not saying is you broke the plate. Absolutely not. You were the victim in this. <laughs> What you're saying is that the plate broke on you, for you, with you present. Yeah, that's basically what you're saying is uh, the plate broke and I was there. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you picked it up with all the care in the world. Absolutely. And then it just, it it just broke. It just shattered like in my it, hands. And then you were like, what the hell? Se me ha roto el plato. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same with falling. I know we've mentioned this uh, a few times before, but se me cayó el plato. Se me cayó. Exactly. Okay. So imagine this scenario. Se me cayó el plato y se me rompió. Yes. Well, that, what it talks about is accident, yeah? Accident, Even though, yeah. obviously, I think you are many times to be blamed for what happened. I think it just means I didn't do it on purpose. Basically. Exactly, yeah. It fell, if it slipped it, my hand. It, it fell from me. It fell from se me. me cayó. So that what, what we're doing it. is we're saying, we in English often we say, I dropped the plate. Yeah? Yes. I dropped the plate. But I dropped the plate. You've got to be careful the way you translate these because if you say, well, which verb you use? Because yeah. if you say yeah. to drop, like, tirar, then that means you threw it on purpose. O, o dejé caer. O dejé caer is like on purpose. Yeah. As well. Okay. So yeah. I, I let it fall. Exactly. So you've got to be careful in English. I dropped it. How do you know if you say I dropped it if it's accidental? On purpose. We have to say I dropped it on purpose. So you would have to say on purpose. Yeah. However, I, I let it go out of my hand. I let it drop. Right. To use a let. But yeah. if you say I dropped it. I dropped it. That's an accident typically. Right, but it could also But it be... depends on the context. You say, you know, I was I was looking down, I was I was eyeing it up, and right. then I dropped it. So it could yeah. be both. Uh -huh. However, in Spanish, we would have to choose the way we say it. If we say, I dropped it at, with the verb mm, tirar, okay, lo tiré. That means I did it. I wanted to do it. But if then we use the se me, <laughs> that means it something happened and I was just there. 
holding it or I was just there when it happened. Exactly. Yeah? Exactly. So that's... So what's, what's the difference here? What we can do with each one of these sentences that we just give you is we can take the me out of it. And we can say, se rompió, yeah. se estropeó, se cayó, o se fue. Okay? What I'm showing is that these are all reflexive verbs. These are reflexive verbs. Yeah? It's, ca it's romperse, uh, caerse, olvidarse, irse. They're all reflexive. So what happens is, what we're doing is this, it's in its simplest form. We're talking about something happening, third person, right? Third person, it can be singular, plural. The plate broke, the plates broke, yeah? And then we are injecting ourselves into it as being there, being involved, that's all, yeah? And that's why we tend to say in English, on me, it happened to me, on me, for me, yeah? See. But not because of me. And sometimes, and usually as well with, for example, to, when you want to say to forget, and you could say in English, I forgot, but you could also say, it slipped my mind. Yeah? Yeah. Like, that thing slipped my mind. I didn't, I didn't forget. That thing exactly. did it. Yeah? So that would be an example. So I forgot is like, I forgot. Okay. Yo olvidé. Mm, ¿Sabes? Yo olvidé algo. Uh, but se me olvidó is exactly the that thing you know it slipped my mind it forgot I, itself it from forgot me. itself from me yeah it just you know exactly I didn't do anything yeah so the same so important as well the me is not the only pronoun you can no, use no 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 you can use it on all the programs of course se te se te se, se, le, se le se nos se os se, se les, les. Mm -hmm. okay so it depends, you know, se me rompió, se te rompió el plato. Se me rompió el plato. Se le rompió el plato, ahí. Se nos rompió la lavadora. O okay. se nos rompió el coche. Yeah. Sí. Like so, it, broke, it broke on us, you could on say. On us, yeah, they broke down on us. The, yeah, the, so the, you could say on us, on me, on him, her, on them. Yeah. So you change the me for that pronoun. Um, so for example, I could say, uh, rompí el móvil, which then I am, I am the perpetrator. Okay, I I broke the phone. Rompí el móvil. I broke the phone. Se me rompió el móvil. The phone broke on me. On me. O o el teléfono se rompió. Uh, what the we, phone what we broke. Might, what we might do is we might say my phone broke. Oh my phone broke. Okay. That, uh, without saying I broke my phone. My phone broke. That would be se me rompió. Se me rompió. Se me estropió. Mm -hmm. O el teléfono, or if you don't even want to be involved, it just, you know, broke. Se rompió el teléfono. Mm -hmm. The phone broke. Yeah. See? So, See? two things that we can do with this. One is we can put any pronoun on to say who's the victim. Yeah? Me te le nos os leis. And the other thing that we can do is we, we can make the thing that happens singular or plural. So, Se me cayó el plato, mm -hmm. se me cayeron los platos. That's exactly. they're the two things that change. So just the verb can be singular, third person singular, third person plural. Exactly, exactly. Or the pronoun can change. So you can talk about anybody being the victim of any action or actions. Yeah, that's it. it it's used very, very much so here in, in exactly. Spain. Yeah, very. And much it can so. also be used in reflexive. Um, mm -hmm. Or for example, sorry, I'm having I mean to say like, se me ocurrió ocurrirsete algo. Por ejemplo, se me ocurrió una idea. Something occurred to me. To me. For mm -hmm. example, se me ocurrió. Yeah. So you see the se me many times. A lot, yeah. So definitely worthwhile practicing and worthwhile understanding exactly what these structures are doing. But yeah. it isn't that complicated. It's just to me, for me, yes. on me, this kind of, I'm the victim. Yeah. Exactly. Ok, bueno, eso es todo. Muchas gracias, Ed, por la sugerencia. I, I did answer him on the, on the chat. Ok, so cool. He did have the answer, but, you know, you, you get a video as well, why not? Absolutely, <laughs> why not? Double trouble. Bueno, y ahora. And now a word from our sponsors. Muchas, Muchas gracias, gracias Ahmed. Ahmed. De, de Egipto. De Egipto. Nice, lovely, I'd love to go there. So, we've been talking about today, 
We've been talking about pronouns. We have. Ta-da. Now, in this book, would you believe that the, the lesson that we've just given has explained here all of the victim structure pronouns, but all of the pronouns in the whole of the Spanish-speaking world, all of them, do you think? Do you think we should risk saying all of them? Nearly Let's just say them. most of them, Nearly just in case. <laughs> or in here, with an explanation of how they work. Okay? I mean, all of the pronouns are there. The pronouns are the pronouns, just all the ways you can use the pronouns. Sure, sure, yeah. Yeah, but in, ne- in nearly all the positions, you'll find them here, yeah? So if you want to learn more about pronouns, this is the book that will help you, yeah? In our style, obviously, you know, there are other books out there, I'm sure, but this is our style of explaining it, yeah? Okay, bueno. Muy bien, Gordon. Muchas gracias, Cintia. Gracias a ti. Choca. Y ahora, nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego, adiós. adiós. Ponlo ahí en la planta. Es, es organic. Eh. Correcto, sí. Okay. Ahora cuando vaya a la planta va a estar llena de, de uñas. Ya bueno, me que, has dado va a crecer idea. una planta con uñas. Ok. Bueno, mejor eso que fingir que te lo estás metiendo en el bolsillo y luego lo tiras al, al suelo. suelo. Claro, si yo sé cómo eres tú. Más guarro. Vale.